Well, 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 the time has finally come to answer the age-old question, which version of Dodonpachi is the best? Are any of these ports any good? How do they stack up to each other? How do they compare? Is it worth spending hundreds of dollars to buy the Saturn or PlayStation version or to spend the hours and headache to get it running in Instant Brain? Well, I'm here to tell you. And the reason why I was interested in doing this, in case people don't know, is that Dodonpachi actually emulates extremely well, both in MAME and within Shmup Arch or RetroArch. I definitely like to use the RetroArch Shmup Arch version because it has less latency than the MAME version, a frame less to be exact. And I love just the front end and I love that uh, emulator, so that's what I use. And it is by far the most accurate way to play the game, you know, outside of actually playing the PCB. I say it, it ties with MAME, maybe MAME might be a little more accurate with the sound, but other than that, they're the same. But anyway, so speaking of the ports, because this has been something that's been long discussed, which port is the best, what are the issues with the ports, things like that. And so that's what I came to answer in this video. And you'll see on the far left we have the Saturn version, on the middle left we have PS1, on the middle right we have Instant Brain 360. So this is the game within the game. There's a 360 game called Instant Brain. And within that is Dodonpachi. You have to unlock it, and uh, it's a pain in the ass. And then on the far right, we have emulation of the arcade ROM itself from Shmup Arch RetroArch using the FB Neo Core. But anyway, let's begin with the Saturn version and just kind of these console ports in general. The first thing to understand about both the Saturn and PS1 versions is that they are running too fast. So their frame rate is higher than they should be. Instant Brain is actually the same. So all of these, uh, my OSSE reads the frame rates, are running at about 59, 59.7, something like that, in that area, basically 60 FPS, all three versions. Whereas Dodonpachi itself, in the arcade version, runs at about 57.5. You know, it's kind of all over the place with its frame rate, but that's kind of the base frame speed is 57.5. It doesn't get any higher than that. It never hits 60 FPS. And so as you see going through these uh, stages here that very often the PS1 IB and Saturn versions are going to reach the boss before the arcade version because they're running at a faster frame rate. So beyond that uh, base issue that all three ports have, which is a huge problem because it messes with slowdown and bullet speeds, and some AI actually, the each port has a little quirk of its own that's also kind of an issue, right? So to begin with, I want to clarify that both the PS1 and Saturn version are running on the original hardware, which was a pain in the butt to get that set up and get that captured, but I did it. So this is running on an actual Saturn, PS1's running on an actual PS... Well, it's actually running on a PS2, but uh, it's essentially a PS1, right? And then Instant Brain's running on the 360, and then of course Arcade on the PC. So let's begin with the Saturn version. What are the issues that uh, distinguish it? First of all, I think the Saturn version is by far the least accurate as far as just the gameplay itself. So the Saturn version, as you'll see, like the bullet sprites are sort of different and weird. Uh, the hitboxes are a little bit different and weird. And then the AI and certain patterns is different and weird. Um, as we get further, they'll see some major differences. But from a gameplay perspective, the Saturn version is definitely the most different from the arcade version. Another thing about the Saturn version and the PS1 version that are insane oversights to the point where um, SMC and myself wonder if they were intentional is that the bees do not give meter. That may sound like a small issue for people who don't play a lot of Dodonpachi, but that's how you chain the game together. That's how you link many chains and stuff like that. And so many chains become impossible or damn near impossible on the Saturn and PS1 version because the bees do not give any meter. Another issue, of course, is that because the PS1 and Saturn versions are running too fast, the chain meter itself is running too fast. So there's certain times where certain links that are just kind of average in difficulty are extremely difficult. And I wouldn't say, I'm not 100% confident to say that some chains are impossible, but they are definitely extremely challenging to the point where you may have to like relearn your entire approach to the chain to try and get it to connect where before you could easily put it together. You'll see that a lot in stage four. So that's the Saturn version. Other issues with the Saturn version that drove me absolutely nuts. One is that the Saturn version does not have a damn control config. 
So you cannot control, you cannot map your buttons in the Saturn version. So you have to just accept its kind of you know weird layout, which is sort of like a cave arcade cabinet layout. I'll give it that, but it's on the bottom row of your arcade stick. It, it's a little weird to me. Uh, another issue with the Saturn version is that some of the boss AI and enemy AI simply acts completely differently than it should. I felt like it's kind of like a patched version actually where they went in and sort of patched out different exploits or different things you could do in the arcade version and so I'll get more into the Saturn version because there is one aspect of it that is kind of interesting which is the Saturn mode but we'll talk about that in a bit so now let's turn over to the PS1 version the PS1 version as you see like Instant Brain and Saturn is running too fast that's its biggest issue with the PS1 version is that it just runs too fast that and of course the bees don't chain which is a huge problem but when you compare look at the bullets in the in the Saturn version and the PS1 version you see that the PS1 version's bullets look more accurate to the arcade version they look very very close whereas the Saturn version look like these kind of homebrew approximations especially the needles the needles are just broken in the Saturn version because they're way too big and there's certain patterns where it's really really challenging to get through them because of the giant increased needle size so that that's a huge oversight with the Saturn version another problem with the Saturn version I forgot to mention is that the sound is awful like the sound effects are strange and kind of cheesy and cheap sounding whereas the PS1 version sound is much closer to the arcade another difference between the PS1 version and the Saturn version is that the PS1 version actually has a control config so thank you for that and another interesting thing about the PS1 version is that for the most part a lot of the exploits and things you do in the arcade version are preserved so there are certain glitches you can hit in the PS1 version that you can't hit in the Saturn version that are uh, synonymous with the arcade version but still there are differences with the PS1 version and the arcade version the PS1 version also has a slow button which is pretty interesting so if you want to slow down the bullet patterns you can do that the big issue with the PS1 slow button is that there's no when you play in Tate mode which you have to by the way so the Yoko mode or whatever you call it the horizontal orientation for both the Saturn and PS1 looks awful it looks horrifically bad it looks so bad that never ever use it always play them in Tate mode like you have no choice really and so the uh, Tate mode in the PS1 version is, is pretty solid and much more aligned with the arcade version as you can see in comparison to the Saturn version. So then let's also talk about the Instant Brain version here on the 360. So this is the version I had the most hope for because for one it doesn't have that awful issue of the bees not chaining. You can chain bees in the Instant Brain version. so. Going into it, I was initially a little bit optimistic for it. Obviously, it would not be as good as playing on the arcade version or playing it in emulator. And the only reason I'm actually interested in playing these in you know, non-emulator form was because I wasn't sure if AGDQ and there are certain Japanese live stream events that will not accept emulator submissions and stuff like that, which I, I don't agree with it at all. But you know I do kinda wanna participate if it's possible so that's why I was thinking well maybe I could get one of these ports to sort of work you know maybe I could kind of finagle the port to work and there is kind of an interesting method I came up with with the PS1 version but I'll talk about that in a bit but yes getting back to Instant Brain out of the box Instant Brain has a lot of issues that the other ports don't have well Saturn has this issue but for one Instant Brain does not support Tate which sucks the Saturn version does, so that's nice for the Saturn version. And Instant Brain does not have a control config, just like the Saturn version, which also sucks. It's basically just play the stages. Funnily, Instant Brain does have a sound mode, so you can like turn off the background music or turn off the sound effect, which I thought is a nice touch. So it kind of felt like, well, if you're going to add that, you, know, you could add a control config and Hate support, right? Get a little closer. But anyway, so. Again, it was a major headache to get Instant Brain unlocked. I finally did, thanks to the help from a, a guy on Twitter. Shoutouts to him for helping me. Because there was no way I could sit through unlocking it legitimately. Because uh, even with the guy, it's going to take hours and hours and hours. And there's mistakes you can make. It 
it's an inst it's a visual novel all in Japanese, so yeah, have fun with that, right? Especially me. But the guy on、uh, Twitter helped me out. Another fact to throw out there for people is the links on the Shmup System Eleven forum on how to unlock Instant Brain. Our DDP and Instant Brain—they don't work anymore. Those save files are outdated. The 360 got an update that basically renders them completely useless. So that method on the Shmup Farm does not work anymore. So I was asking for help, and people were linking me that method. That method does not work. You need more、uh, recent save files to unlock it, which I was able to do. So that's that's good. That guy helped me really because I was not looking forward to bearing through that. But anyway, once I got Instant Brain up and running, yes, the screen is horizontal only. Not only that, but it's kind of shrunk down. You know, it's not full on the whole screen, which I thought was strange. So you have, I had to sit like right up against my monitor just, you know, to get a good view of everything. But the huge flaw with the Instant Brain port, which makes it, in my opinion, not really that viable either, is the fact that it runs way too fast. So it's running at a 60 FPS basically, it's hauling ass. And I feel like of all the ports, the Instant Brain one actually, the Saturn version has intentional changes and inaccuracies, but I feel like the Instant Brain has the most unintentional inaccuracies and weirdnesses. For instance, certain ships and certain enemies will just shoot bullets right as they spawn, which they don't normally do. So there's times where the, the enemies will spawn and shoot bullets. By the way, Instant Brain is just running the ROM on an emulator. You can tell, but it's running it too fast. So even though it's theoretically going to be more accurate, because the emulation isn't done correctly, it's really not that viable of a way to play the game either. Outside all of the Um, user interface issues. The emulation itself just is not accurate. It runs way, way too fast, which is really, really frustrating. So, sadly, the, it was not the、uh, silver bullet I was looking for as far as getting, you know, a, ver- a legitimate, you know, quotes version of the game running for GDQ or something like that. So that was really frustrating.、Um, and so, looking back at the Saturn version, look at those、uh, pink. Bullets there. Look at how much thicker they are. It, that pattern just seems insane. Another change with the Saturn and PS1 versions is that it feels like the loop conditions are different. The Saturn loop conditions might be the same or might be close. The PS1, the loop conditions are much stricter. So on this replay, I actually was not able to get the loop to function. However, when I emulated it in the corrected version, which I'll talk about in a bit. On my computer, I was able to unlock the loop, and the way I did that was, I、um, oh sorry, I'm distracted by me going into the options menu in Instant Brain randomly. But yeah, so the way I emulated it, I was able to slow down the frame rate and get it to be a bit more accurate, so that I could actually play it better. This section in particular, for example, is an absolute nightmare on these ports. Look how there's no slowdown, or basically no slowdown, and the bullets are traveling faster than they should. Whereas you look at the arcade version, you can see the slowdown, you can see the bullet speeds a lot slower,、um, much more manageable th- on the arcade version. This section is actually one of the hardest sections in the game on the other ports because it's not done correctly. And also, you'll see coming up here, there's a major slowdown section, and we can see how the different games emulate it. One thing I will say about the PS1 version, even though it's running too fast and it does have a lot of slowdown missing, it actually has this thing called wait mode you can turn on. Look, look at here, look at the PS1 version. How you can see there's a little bit of slowdown there, right? Where when you look back at the Saturn version, there was just no slowdown. It just kept rolling. That was a huge issue. So now we're coming to the infamous Hall of Hell, as I call it.、Um, this section is extremely difficult in the arcade version and basically all versions of the game. However, certain versions are harder than others. So if you look at the PS1 version,、um, yes, there's no slowdown going on, but ironically, they have actually nerfed this section. There are less bullets, there are less enemies, so they've sort of compensated. So that makes it. That's the biggest difference with the PS1 version over arcade overall, is that this section is. Nerfed in the PS1 version, it is less. There's less bullets, less enemies, but the bullets are faster, so it's not 
a 100% nerf, right? It's kind of like you give and you lose kind of thing. The Saturn version of the Hall of Hell is just a straight up nightmare. It doesn't seem like it's nerfed all that much, but the bolt speeds, there's like no slowdown. It's, it's horrible. It feels like you're playing in the second loop, to be honest, or even a little bit, not harder than the second loop, but a little more jank than the second loop. And then on the Instant Brain version, let's take a look here. See, the Instant Brain version has some semblance of slowdown. It has, again, some semblance of what it's supposed to do, but it's also just running way too fast. So if you're used to playing on the arcade version, this is going to be a big jarring change. And that's what I was saying when people were watching me stream this, is that the timings are all completely off they're all like this section here I got kind of jammed in there because it was just moving along faster than my usual pacing and also bolt sometimes bolts will shoot out faster so let's look at the boss fight here there's a lot of huge differences on this boss fight so the ps1 version is actually easier because with the weight mode they randomly throw an extra slowdown this is like the one part of the game that has extra slowdown over the arcade it's at the beginning of that boss fight when I go up there and point blanket if you look at the Saturn version, the Saturn version is a complete cluster you know what because they have nerfed the, uh, they've buffed the boss basically. So this boss goes from being a fairly challenging boss to much more difficult in the Saturn version because so the opening point blank is nerfed. You can't actually do that because they buff the bullets and the bullet hitboxes are too big so you can't go up there and do that point blank. And then the part where you get up in the cradle, like you can see in the arcade right here, where you go up in the cradle and point blanket, you cannot do that in the Saturn version because the hitboxes on those big bombs are actually increased. So if you go up there in the Saturn version, like I am in the instant brain port right here, that will not work in the Saturn version because those bullet hitboxes are too large. So they'll just kill you. So you have to shoot it from the back. And then of course this needle section is also insanely difficult in the Saturn version because the needles are bigger, right? The sprites for the needles are bigger, it's really thick, it's basically in my opinion it felt like impossible to get through. I'm sure it's not, but I just had to bomb my way through it at that point because it wasn't worth the effort by any means. And so then we come back to stage 6, the final stage of the first loop. This video is just going to be the first loop because I did not have the tolerance or heart to even bother with the second loop versions of these games. I did play the second loop version of Instant Brain and it was a complete nightmare because there's like no slowdown and the bolts go from being really fast to like psycho hellish fast because again maybe the remember the game is running too fast on all these ports so that's a huge issue. Uh, these chains don't work in the PS1 and Saturn version, so I don't even bother trying them. You'll see I'm not really trying to chain that much in the PS1 and Saturn versions because the chains routes usually just don't work as well anymore because not only are the bees uh, nerfed, right, but also just your chain itself runs out faster and the enemies shoot and move in kind of weirder timings and ways, so that will really throw you off. So I kept dying in all these random places, so I decided, okay, let's just play these for survival. See if we can make the loop conditions. So notice, let's look over at the Saturn version here. This section is insane because, watch this section here. So this section should have lots of slowdown right now, but you'll see there's no slowdown. The game just keeps on rolling. Uh, that's a very big problem, especially when you're trying to chain this section and survive it. Yeah, you, you see I had to just bomb there because there's no slowdown. Let's look over at the PS1 version. The PS1 version does have some slowdown, so it's it's definitely better there. Uh, the PS1 version is closer, but it's still missing slowdown, but there's at least something there thanks to that weight mode. This, the uh, 360 Instant Brain version is the closest because that section has enough slowdown to where it's kind of close. It's still too fast, but it's kind of close, so that's nice. But coming up here, this section is a nightmare for Instant Brain. Watch this section right here. So there should be slowdown right here, but there's none. Until the very end where, yeah, I can't... I, if I make it through this, I'm going to be surprised. Yeah, I had to bomb there. It's just way too fast. Let's watch the arcade version now. Look, see? See that nice, smoothing or sort of smooth slowdown. An issue with Donanpachi in all forms, even the arcade version, is that its frame rate and slowdown speeds are what I call slingshotty, where they'll speed up and slow down. You notice in the Saturn version here, that section is supposed to have lots of slowdown, and it had none, so I died. I, I went for it. Let's look at the PS1 version now. 
that section had some slowdown at least. Same thing with Instant Brain. Look at the arcade version now. We're looking at arcade. This section here. See, there's some slowdown you can make it through. So now we have the final boss. Again, the Saturn version, the bullets aren't quite right. The hitboxes aren't quite right. The uh, It feels like the pattern itself isn't quite right. And it's moving way too fast. So now let's look over at the PS1 version of that pattern. Same thing. This pattern here, pattern 2 on the Saturn version, is just broken. Uh, the bullets, it's not working correctly. It's not timed correctly. It moves way too fast. And the, even the way he moves and stuff isn't quite right. Same thing with the third pattern. The bullets are just way too fast. Let's look at the PS1 version of the third pattern. See, the bullet speed is much more accurate than the, in the Saturn version. Instant Brain version, you know, this boss fight isn't actually all that much different because it is the thing. The huge problem with the Instant Brain bar, as you saw there, are the ninja stars. Those things are blazing fast in the Instant Brain version because there's no slowdown at all. Where, it, if you watch the arcade version, it kind of slows down a little bit. And plus, the bullet speeds are just faster in all the other versions compared to arcade. And here we go, the final attack. Uh, I feel like the PS1 version of the final attack is pretty good. Um, it's pretty close. It feels pretty damn close. Just too fast. Same thing with Instant Brain. The Saturn version of the final attack, uh, it actually feels a little bit nerfed. It feels a little bit easier, even though it's faster, because I don't think they quite got the AI right, so it actually made it a little bit easier. I'm not 100% sure on that. I just did that pattern a few times, but just from the times that I did it. And you'll notice almost every single time that the other ports are ending before Shmup Arch, right? Before the arcade port. Um, they're getting to the boss fights earlier too. Again, it's because they are running too fast. So that's a huge issue. So final verdicts, final thoughts. All the ports are shit. That's just, uh, yeah, if you made it this far in the video and you're wondering when my reviews, all the ports are bad. Every single one is basically not worth your time because of how inaccurate they all are. But to tear off which ones are the worst, I would say that the worst one by far is the Saturn version. The Saturn version is horrible. It, as far as emulating or being close to the arcade, it is straight up not close at all. It's awful. Do not play the Saturn version if you're trying to do that. The one saving grace of the Saturn version is the Saturn mode which is basically a different way to play Don Ampachi. You can go in there and change the chain the chain timer, which I would do, like increase the chain timer, you get an extra stage, and then there's no second loop. Instead, at the end, you fight Hibachi. So that's the one kind of cool thing about the Saturn version is it's basically, it's so different to the point where you could kind of play it like it's a different game. But as far as the arcade mode being accurate, it is not accurate at all. The, it is by far the most inaccurate. So then it comes down between the Instant Brain and PS1 versions. Which one do I think is better? This one is tough, right? Because Instant Brain does have the bees, and the bees do work. So there is that. However, it's still so bad that I would never recommend it to play it. So the Instant Brain is basically, I feel like, worse than the PS1 version because even though it is technically more accurate because the bees aren't broken. It is still s broken enough to be not worth your time. And why I end up liking the PS1 version the most is because it's kind of this interesting middle ground where it's more accurate than the Saturn version, but it has a few key differences, but it also retains a lot of the stuff that I like, like the boss glitch on 4 where you can lock him and stuff. That doesn't work on Saturn that does work on the PS1 version still. Um, and then the cradle, like uh, weak spot on the five boss, that one still works. So you can hit the bosses kind of the same. And actually the boss five boss is a little bit easier because it gives you some extra slowdown in one section for some reason. But the one reason I also kind of like the, the PS1 version that makes it interesting is that the Hall of Hell is nerfed, which is kind of an interesting idea. And so the bees are broken and the Hall of Hell is nerfed. So you can kind of play the PS1 version as this weird kind of arrange of Dodonpachi. 
And so that's why I think the PS1 version is the best. However, the big however, there is a way that I choose to play the PS1 version that is very unconventional, but I think it is definitely the best way to do it, which is what's interesting about RetroArch is that RetroArch is able to emulate PS1 games with Run Ahead like really well. So you can emulate the PS1 version on RetroArch and then you can change the slowdown uh, interval. And so when you hit the slowdown button, you can actually change it just a tiny, tiny amount. So you can drop it down to basically the correct frame rate. It's a little bit higher, but it's basically the correct frame rate of the game. And that's what I call playing it corrected mode, right? So you're playing it at slightly slower speed to match the arcade version. And it actually feels a lot better when you do that. And so it'll be interesting to see what's what's kind of crazy is that retroarch is also able to play off the legitimate disc directly so as far as getting this into a gdq or getting this into a japanese live stream event i'm very curious if they would accept it where basically i'm telling them yes i'll show them a picture yes i have the ps1 disc and i'm going to be playing off the legitimate media here but I'm going to be playing it on a PC that is adding this uh, improvement where it matches the original frame rate. Um, I'm, I'll show some footage of that as well. I call this Donanpachi PS1 Corrected. And so that would be my uh, summary of these ports. Obviously, if you're not planning on demonstrating this at some kind of shmup event that bans emulators, which is 99.999% of you, don't bother with any of these ports. Do not waste your money. Do not, unless you're a collector, I guess. But outside of that, don't do it because the uh, arcade emulation or I think even the Mister is working on a core. So either look into playing on the Mister or look to be, of course, playing Shmup Arch. That's definitely my recommendation. Uh, you can play in MAME as well. There's an extra frame of lag. I think Shmup Arch is better, but still, all of those options are way better than playing the ports. I know the nostalgia is strong when it comes to playing on original hardware and all that, but in this case, there's no argument for it. They're just bad, so don't do it, especially the Saturn version. Unless you want to play the weird Saturn mode, that would be my only justification for the Saturn version. And so I probably will play the Saturn version from time to time and like do runs on the weird Saturn mode. But outside of that, uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of the Saturn version at all. If you have to choose one, the PS1 version is definitely better of the two of them as far as accuracy. So yeah. And then Instant Brain is kind of like, don't bother with Instant Brain. Either play, emulate it for real on, you know, like a legit emulator or just play the PS1 version. That's my opinion. Instant Brain's like this ugly middle ground where no one wins, right? So anyway, that's my review of all the Donanpachi ports. I think this is going to be the most in-depth, thorough one you'll find because... No, I don't know who else is enough, is interested enough to spend all this time getting his hands on all this shit and testing it. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll finish this video by thanking my patrons. So thank you to Dingo, Anthony A, Ben Nguyen, Brian Shiver, Dunpill2064, EC2151, Eric H, Full Set, Retro Shmupper, Gus, Kiwi, Jake Ryan, Joe Angelo, John, Game by Guru, K, Quentin, Malaise, Mark Sloan, Maz, Meher Kalendrian, Nathaniel Davis, and Electron, Neon Daggers, Okla Kugels, Parlar, Rhysosis, Sir Thumb, Sent Morap, Smacky Factor, Zagumo, Turopon, Young Mini Sui, Yutakaya. Thanks for watching.